What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video from the Scalar Learning Channel, and we are into SAT week, but we are back with our Khan Academy series. A lot of people have been asking me to pick this back up. We are almost done with the foundations level, and I'm gonna be drilling a lot of these problems all week this week to get you guys ready for this Saturday. So without further ado, we're finishing off topic 37, which is circle equations at the foundations level. If you're unfamiliar with Khan Academy, foundations is kind of like the lowest level you could say, and then it goes to medium, and then it goes to the uh, highest difficulty after that. So we're going to try and burn through as many of these categories as possible this week. Let me know in the comments what you think of these videos if you find them helpful. Without further ado, let's hit these four questions and I will solve them with solid explanations, teaching the material as we go on. And uh, just so you know, if you're new to the channel, if you're watching this content for the first time, I am solving these questions for the first time in real time. Here we go. Okay, maybe let me zoom in a little bit here. Oh no, this is okay. All right. A little bit, a little bit. There we go. And let me move this. All right. So we got x minus 3 squared plus y minus 4 squared equals 4. Which of the following is a graph of the given equation? So a couple of things that you need to be familiar with when, when we're looking at circle equations, right? Uh, this is in the format of x minus h squared, where h is my x value of the center of the circle, and then y minus k squared, where, oops, where k, hold on, let me move this over here where k is my y value of the center. Then we have equals, oops, equals r squared. Ah, that got messed up. Hold on, let me undo that. Oh, shoot. Let me bring that back. Oh, okay, I just totally got rid of everything. So let me write that down again. Let me move it over here. So we've got x, oh, there it is. Okay, <laughs> this is uh, acting a little funny. All right, so equals r squared, where r is the radius. So again, since it's x minus 3, my center is, for the x value, positive 3 my center for the y value is positive four. It's always the opposite, right? If it was x plus three, it would be negative three. And then my radius is the square root of this value over here, which is two. So now we can see which one of these, which one of these graphs is correct. So we need a center at three comma four. That looks like the right center. And then we need a radius of two. So since it's at three, it should be going out to five, uh, which it looks like it does there. So I'm thinking A is the correct answer. Hold on, let me get rid of the rest of this. This is glitching for some reason. Hold on, let me clear everything. Uh, clear all drawings, yes. Okay, let me close this. Okay, so I'm feeling like it's A. Let me just look at the right, yeah, that's the wrong, totally the wrong center. That is the right center, three, four, but then we have a radius of four, which is incorrect, right? That's a trap that they're setting because you see a four, so you might think, oh, radius is four. So it's gotta be A for the win. Boom, done. Okay, next. A circle in the xy plane has its center at 44, negative 34, and a radius of square root of 3. Which one of the following is the equation of the circle? So again, again, what, as we're piecing this one together, if we've got, let me move this over here, hold on. Okay, so we got a center at, oops, hold on, drag this down a little bit. If we got a center at 44, negative 34, if I'm going to piece the equation together from scratch, which I recommend as opposed to like looking at the answer choices, you say it's x minus that x value, which is 44, that's the x coordinate squared, plus y minus negative 34, which minus a negative is plus, so it should be plus 34 squared. So right off the bat, this is what we should see on the left-hand side of the answer choices. I don't see it here. I don't see it here but I do see it in these last two. Now the question is, what do we have on this side? Do we have square root of three or three? Well, again, the radius is square root of three, but we shouldn't see the radius on this side. We should see the radius squared, AKA square root of three squared, which should be three, which means that, uh, sorry, excuse me, C is the winner, done. Okay, hope this is making sense. Okay, now this one is asking, what is the length of the diameter of the circle? So diameter and radius, have this relationship, diameter is equal to two times the radius. It's double the radius, right? If we have a circle, the radius is just the distance from the center out to the edge. The diameter is the full distance straight across. So if we're looking at the diameter, it's whatever the radius is times two. This is the radius squared. The, the radius, therefore, is the square root of 121, which is 11. And therefore, the diameter is two times 11, which would be 22. Okay, so we'll put in 22, 
boom, done. Okay, and last but not least, we got the equation of a circle is x squared plus y, blah, 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 uh, equals one. What are the center and radius? So again, we have the radius squared. Oops, let me move this over. We have, come on, move over, move over. We have the radius squared on this side, which is one. What's the square root of one? It's still one. So we have a radius of one. Now all these answer choices have a radius of one, so that doesn't help us. But now it's all about the center. Now this isn't in the exact format that I described before. Uh, it, I mean, it basically is, but it might look like it's not. So I can reformat this, watch this. It's x squared. Well, shouldn't it be x minus h? Well, it is. Technically, it's just that h value is 0. So we got x minus 0 squared, and then we still have the plus y plus 4 squared. So that means my center is going to be at 0 for the x value, and then again, the opposite of that value, because there's always y minus k. So it's 0 comma negative 4. So my center is 0, negative 4, which I see in d, and a radius of 1, which they all have. So d is the winner. Done. All right. There we go. So that is the foundations level for the uh, unit circle e, uh, equation, or sorry, not unit circle, circle equations. Make sure to click that like button if you did like this video. Make sure to click subscribe if you want to see more from the Scalar Learning channel. Starting tomorrow, I'm going to be burning through the medium level section. I might do one long live stream where I just do a ton of topics. Maybe I do all, now. Nah, probably not all 37. That's going to take too long, but maybe I can bang out 10 in a row. And uh, let me know what you guys think if, if that's something you're interested in. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for joining, and we will see you in the next video. Take it easy.